Alright, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out weekend. We week out the prophesied the downfall of America. Alright. That's right, America's gonna be destroyed. It's gonna be destroyed. Alright. And to come out here to seal up the elect of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent on your father's side, which are the true biblical Israelites, and to break it down. Okay. And to tell you other people that's not of that descent, you're going into eternal slavery. And if you go back to the Caucasians, you're going to be exterminated after a thousand years after that. All right? We're going to start first and foremost giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Double honors to the elders of the Great Millstone, taught us this truth. And Shalom taught the Akimah, they're pushing the truth and sincerity. Go to Jeremiah 7, I mean 28. Start at verse 7 and read down to 9. Now, you might have people that say, well, why are y'all always talking about America's going to be destroyed and that, you know, all these other uh, nations around the world, they're going to be put in submission under the Israelites. Well, this is why. Read that. Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah 20, chapter 28, verse 7. Yep. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesy both against many countries. So the prophets, which are only Israelites, all right, when you read the scriptures, they spoke against uh, countries, nations, and even kingdoms, all right? About what? It was in verse eight. Both against many countries uh -huh. and against, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. War, evil, and pestilence. War, all right? Okay, because it is going to be race wars, all right? And third world war around the world very soon, all right? Of evil, meaning bad times, which America's experiencing bad times, and it's going to increase because of the wickedness in the society until it receive the final evil which is the missiles and uh and pestilence outbreaks of diseases and plagues sent from the heavenly father keep reading the prophet which prophesied of peace yep when the word of the prophet prophet shall come to pass uh -huh. then shall the prophet be known that the lord have truly sent him yeah if if, if past the pork chop all right your so-called uh, religious spiritual leaders in these uh, temples of Baal, okay? Because that's what you worship in, all right? Y'all about to celebrate Christmas, which is ain't nothing but the worship of Nimrod's penis, all right? And the worship of Ceramicus and Tammuz, okay? Which is all ancient Babylonian customs, man. Okay? Simple ass people, man. Okay? That's right, go to Jeremiah 3 and 15. Okay, he just peed. So, I don't know if I can take the dog shit right there. And, uh, we ain't with him. We gotta smell that for a good hour or two. Hell no. Jeremiah 3, verse 15. 15. And I and I will give you pastors according to my heart. According to the heart of the Lord. Okay, keep reading. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge of the, uh, of the Bible. Okay, and understanding. Which is basically the most important thing. Hold that. Get Proverbs 4 and 7. Prove that. And then go back to that. Okay. Because you get these people, they think they so wise and stuff, but they have no understanding. Like these people that go to college, man. All right? You go to college, if you knew so much, your ass is in debt. You a slave to, uh, to the bankers, man. Everybody's a slave in this society. Even you proud so-called white people, y'all slaves. Because you in debt slavery. That's right. Key reader. Yeah, you in slavery. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is contained in the scriptures. Key reader. Therefore, get wisdom, uh -huh. and with all thy getting, get understanding. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Okay? To get understanding. 
Okay? Because that's the key. Now go back to where he was in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. Yeah. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yep. That's it on that? Yeah. Okay. Now from there, go to Revelations 14 and 8. All right? Because we're going to go through the scriptures and break down. Better yet, go to uh, Matthew 24 and 3 real quick. And break down that what's happening now in this society was prophesied by who you really call Jesus Christ. Proving he's a true prophet. Not no Nostradamus and his uh, December 21st madness. To hell with that, man. Read that. Matthews chapter 24 verse 3 Yep And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives The disciples came unto him privately saying Tell us when when shall these things be And what shall be the sign of thy coming And the end of the world The sign of his coming So the Lord gave distinctive signs Or tokens of events to happen To prove uh, Showing up, leading up to his second return and it was given to the disciples to understand and to break down, not everybody. Okay, that's why Pastor Porchop don't touch Matthew 24 or Mark 13 or Luke 21. Okay, read verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto, unto them, Yep. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Alright? From there, go to uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 28. Luke chapter 17, verse 28. Yep. Likewise also, as it was in the days of life, they did eat, they drank, and bought, and, and they sold, and planted, and built it. Yeah, just like in the days of Lot. So one of the signs prior to the Lord's coming is the, uh, the way the society is going to be prior to his return. And we're going to get into the story about Lot, okay? And why Sodom and Gomorrah got set ablaze and why America's gonna get set ablaze because it follows in the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. And all homosexuals, lesbians, transgenders, bisexuals, child molesters, pedophiles, okay, will be put to death by ICBM thermonuclear missiles. Alright? Let, let, let this nigga ride by real quick. Verse 29. Ain't that like but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven. It rained fire and brimstone from heaven. Okay? So it said when Lot exit Sodom and Gomorrah, all right, it rained fire from heaven. What happened to Heavenly Father, all right, Made the elements. Niggas, man. That's what I'm talking about, niggas. He gonna be fueled for the fire, man. Alright? The Lord made the uh the elements uh turn into fire and brimstone and rain it on Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? And burn them cities into ashes. And we're gonna we gonna go through why. That place got burnt. And why America's gonna get burnt? Because it follows in that ways. Read down to verse 33. Verse 30. Yep. Even thus shall it be in the days when the Son of Man is revealed. Yeah, it says, thus shall it be in the days when the Son of Man is revealed. Talking about what? His second return. So when the Lord's return, it's gonna be the, the state of the world or the, or the societies of the world it's going to be under that vibration of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? Read that again. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. That's right, when the Son of Man is revealed. Now who's the Son of Man? So they will know. Go to Matthew 16, 13. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. 13. And when Yahweh came into the coast of uh, Caesarea, Philippi. Caesarea Philippi, he, he asked,
Jesus, the same.